All right, hi everyone, thanks for coming today, thanks for being here. Um, I'm going to be talking today a little bit about a topic that's very near and dear to all of us, and that's the topic of food. And I have a little bit of an interesting story, a little bit of a unique story relating to this, and I want to share some of that with you today, and also give you some of the tips that I've learned um, so that you can learn from some of my mistakes and uh, design your own path to health. So, I want to start off by saying also that this presentation is really not about, it's really not even so much about food, it's more about, um, it's for so much about nutrition or what to eat or what not to eat. It's more about uh, food and its place in, uh, in our life, in our relationships with other people, um, in our emotional life and things like that. So I'll share a little bit about my story and then I'll give you some of the takeaway tips that maybe you can use to add to your own practices. Um, also, before I get started, I wanted to uh, just gauge the audience, like, um, how many of you are interested in health or know somebody who is maybe a vegetarian or does like a paleo diet or something like that? So you guys are all familiar with kind of alternative diets and what that means. Um, I'll be explaining some of the, the different uh, lifestyle practices that I've, that I've experimented with, and then I'll also be uh, running through some other tips that you guys can take with you. Okay. So, so to get started, I want to just run through again my journey with diet, some of the different things that I've learned over the years, um, over the past 10 years that I've been experimenting with, and then, um, then we'll do some other interesting tidbits as well. So the first uh, kind of period in my, um, in my dietary journey, I like to call it, is when I first got in, uh, interested in vegetarianism. It was about 10 years ago in 2004. Um, and some of you who know me, you know, know that I've been a vegetarian for a long time and, and, and have uh, been familiar with kind of my weird eating practices. Um, but so I got I first got interested in in eating an alternative diet. I have some photos here, just some of uh, some of the foods I used to make and and, and what I looked like at, at this time period in my life. <laughs> um, so some of you are familiar with you know uh, with with my diet because you've known me for a while. But a lot of people like who I meet will ask me like, well, you know, why do you eat this way or how did you first get in, get, get involved in this kind of stuff? Um, and really, my first my first interest came from uh, kind of like an ethical standpoint. I wasn't necessarily comfortable with how some some food products were made and I wanted to kind of take action on that so I, I decided to become a vegetarian when I was about eight or nine. Um, I don't really remember at this point but it's kind of just been a journey from there. Um, and, I, and, I, and my main interest during this period of my life was again the ethical component and I wasn't so much interested in, in nutri nutrition or cooking and so on but I got uh, involved in that um, soon after I first became vegetarian because you learn to, uh, to create new options for yourself from, uh, that are different from what you used to eat. So uh, again, these are some pictures of me. This was a family breakfast project for seventh grade uh, family. Yes. Um, so it's just kind of interesting. And then this, this over here, I just wanted to include this. Um, back when I was, I think I was 13, I, I started a, a blog called Veg Living, and I did like a little podcast and stuff. And that was kind of like my first foray into um, like uh, getting involved online with this stuff. And I met a lot of great people through that. Um, so that was the first kind of period of my journey. And this it kind of got a little bit weirder because it was it was a little bit of a, a progression. I, I started to get more involved in the the nutritional side of it, um, and I started to also become uh, involved in the kind of the spirituality side of, of eating. And I got into uh, into different kinds of diets, uh, raw food diets, vegetarian diets. And essentially, what that means is I was eating basically a diet of, of fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds, things like that. Um, basically, whole raw produce, and that was kind of the center of my uh, my nutritional plan. And um, this is where you guys see me. If you know me, I eat a lot of fruit. This is kind of where that all came from. Um, so some of the things I used to eat, I used to, I used to like making like different kinds of salads, and, and I would go to like wholesale, wholesale markets and buy lots of fruit and stuff like that. And I'll be explaining a little bit kind of what, what this kind of taught me. It seems kind of strange, I would imagine, to a lot of people. Like, why would you do that? Why would you even, you know, bother with something like that? Um, but you can see here, I, I, I met a lot of great people. I went to a festival uh, in, in 2011 for fruitarians, and. Um, that's the, the corner, uh, the picture in the corner. And um, I, I really learned a lot about, uh, through doing this, I learned a lot about nutrition because you really get down to the elements of it. Um, so I'm gonna run through quickly here because we have a short amount of time, but some more pictures of kind of my journey. Um, this was me at a wholesale market. I used to go to the markets in Philadelphia to buy my produce. And this was a little uh, project I did. I put together a recipe book um, in 2000, I think that was 2011 as well. Um, with all the stuff that I, that I, all the recipes that I made, um, and I sold that online and sold a couple hundred copies, so that was kind of fun. Um, and just some more pictures. This was a meetup in Hawaii with some of my fruitarian friends, so I fruit there. And so just where I am today, I kind of have a mixture. I don't, I'm not so much interested anymore in the labeling, and that's what I'm going to be talking about briefly, is uh, what I've learned from this is that you really have to kind of do what works for you, do what works for your health, 
Um, so I've kind of taken bits and pieces of all these different ideologies that I've, that I've experimented with, and I've, I've kind of kept the, the parts that work and, and left the parts that don't. Um, so you can see here, I won't go into detail, but my current diet is kind of a mixture of all of these, different, um, these different ideologies that I, that I experimented with. And so, okay, I'm gonna skip this one. All right, so some of the things that I've learned um, that you guys can take away. Like I said, the number one thing is when you're when you're doing something with your health, you want to make sure that the number one focus is always is always health because this is really about health. And so doing doing things like labels and getting really strict with yourself really isn't the best way to the best way to um, to get results. So uh, the other thing is your health has to become come before any ideology because uh, at one point in my journey, I was kind of experiencing some. Uh, not exactly the results I was looking for health-wise, and I kind of had to reconsider what I was doing and see if um, I should really change up my, my beliefs, and that's what I had to do. And it was, it was really hard for me, because it was kind of almost like, it was almost like a little bit of a, like a religious thing to me. Like it was very important to me to, to do what I did, and I had to kind of reconsider that. So that brings me to number three, which is the ability to grow and change beyond, um, beyond limiting beliefs is really the sign of, of that, you're, that, you're achieving, uh, that you're achieving health. So as far as what I've learned about food and society, um, people really just want, people just want to be happy and healthy. They want you to be happy and healthy. And um, at, at some points in my journey, I, I would, again, I was so strict with what I was doing that, um, you know, I would kind of think that I was all alone and that I didn't have, um, didn't have anywhere to turn. Um, and in the end, um, you know, tradition and, 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 and society and things that people do really are not as stupid as you think they are. And there's a lot to learn from them. And um, really, in the end, food touches our relations with every, with everybody in our life. Um, and I learned so much from from kind of stepping from the norm of, of eating culture and having this, this thing that I did, it really taught me a lot about the importance of, of sharing food with other people. Um, so takeaway tips for you. As far as the nutritional side, don't eat bad food. Really, that's the number one secret to all these diets that people do is they remove the foods that are damaging, the most damaging. Eat real foods so and focus on things that are um, whole natural products. And also, you have to value yourself above uh, and, and do it for health because in the end, you know, I always say, um, the health and the self-respect that you gain from doing something like this has to be the foundation and not the reward of, of, of doing something um, that you want uh, to get results out of. So that's what I've learned, and I want to thank everyone for listening. And